Welcome back. Today on Dialed In DIY, I'm going to show you how you can safely charge your cell phone using lithium ion batteries. In previous projects, I've shown how to make rechargeable battery packs, and I've also used nothing but salvaged batteries for the purpose of doing these. In fact, in one of my videos, I even show how to salvage batteries from old laptop power packs. I've actually received questions asking how to use these power packs for charging a cell phone, but unfortunately, it would need a little bit of a modification. I'd planned on doing this project in the future, but due to recent requests, I'm actually going to go ahead and show what parts are needed and how to put it together, starting with the parts that we've already been using. For the rest of this video, I'll do a complete part walkthrough explaining what each of the parts are, how you want to wire them up, and then essentially how to put everything together into a single pack to charge your cell phone with. Your typical lithium ion battery is going to put out about 3.7 volts, but a cell phone needs around 5 to charge from. In order to make that work, you're going to have to boost the power coming out of the battery in order to charge the cell phone. And that's where this part comes in handy. So now that we know what the main parts are, let's take a look at how we need to wire them all together to change how we made the previous battery packs so that you can use it to charge a cell phone. With the charging circuit, you have two ways to add power. One is you can hardwire something into the outside little ports there that you see. Or in a second, I'll show you how you can just use that little micro USB spot to bring the power directly in from your charger. Once these parts are connected, all you have to do is take the cable from your cell phone charger, plug it into the boost converter, and you're charging your phone. So essentially that's all there is to putting all of this together. But you probably do want to put this into some kind of a nice little project box like that we have done before to make everything convenient for portability and ease of access and durability. The version that I'm putting together starts with my multi-tool type of a setup where I'm going to keep the case plus the green on off switch. Instead of the holes that I have here for the quick disconnect of wires for power out, I will actually replace that with the boost module. I'm also definitely keeping the battery holder because then I can quickly swap out previously charged 18650 cells and have extra power to go. And the last modification I'd make to this would be to lose the voltage meter and the momentary switch that I used for checking the battery power. Thank you for taking the time to stop by Dialed In DIY today to check out my video on how to safely charge a cell phone using 18650 or other lithium ion batteries. While you're here, I'd really appreciate it if you'd hit that thumbs up below and go ahead and hit the subscribe button too and make sure to select the bell while you're here so you can get notifications on future videos. Please feel free to let me know any comments you might have, check out my playlists, and please remember to come back in the future because there will be plenty more dialed in DIY to come.